know our salaries. 60k to start with. That's a pretty good salary. Yeah, it's not bad. Welcome to HKU. Because I go past HKU, so I was like, why don't I show you guys what my uni life was like? This is normally where I came for, you know, a little sandwich in between classes. I also used to bring my date here, you know, overlooking Mr. Sun Yat-san. Pretty magical. So this is Nose Building, where I spent my four years doing architecture. That little corner there, this is my favorite spot of the school because I, I used to just always come here get my coffee, talk to random people here, and I guess it paved my way to be a blogger. How was party yesterday? No way! You kissed Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you spot me talking to myself. <laughs> oh, that's, that was all good, but that's how I met so many friends, just like this. All right, guys, so I'll show you guys my studio. No building. This is it. This is the place. So this is where people sit and in your first year you sit on the first row and second year you get moved up, third year, fourth year and then you graduate. These are all the boards that we need to make in our course. So for example, how to make like an urban space more pretty. What is the best way to develop a residential project? How to give it a good name so you can sell for an extra 20%. First year when I got into uni, when you, you, I was so excited and I worked so hard. I thought that if I work hard and I do well at school, I'll be guaranteed a very promising career. So I did, I work hard every day and I think I was top of the class, I got Dr. Dean's list. And all that landed me an internship experience in Shanghai. That was the internship I wanted in real estate. I was like, first year, great experience already, the best internship ever. I'm killing it. But when I was meant to do an internship related to real estate in Shanghai, that's also when I got involved in social media. And in my second year, because I got a very good internship already, there was no way for me to up the ante apart from studying even harder. But there was also the time I discovered a magical place called Lang Kwai Fong. So I would be partying every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then go to school and study on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. There was a time when I met a lot of international students and I was enjoying life, but I was also studying. Third year, I got moved there and I was sitting there and I remember in March, I think this time, I would be sending hundreds of emails over the course of two months to get an internship because in your third year, if you get a good internship, you'll get a return offer. So in your fourth year after you graduate, you'll be able to get a job. And I finally got a job offer. In my fourth year, all I had to do is maintain my grades and then I'll be able to work in that firm again for the rest of my life. Also in fourth year, I took up a media course and I learned how to edit. And that was the time I was like, it. maybe I should just stay here in that corner and edit videos every day and that's what I did. My grades went from getting first honor for sure to be like the bottom of the class and that's how my career started. Since being here reminds me of my time where I was sending hundreds of CVs to get an internship or job. It would be a good idea to ask my fellow HKU schoolmates how their job situation is. Because I saw an article the other day that the fresh graduates of university these days, they get on average 16,000 Hong Kong dollars. But will my schoolmates in HKU have a more competitive edge? Year 4, what are you doing? Arts. I want to ask you, do you want to win? Yes. Why is it so hard to win this year? Do you GPA good GPA? Yes. Is your optimum job? Optimum. Uh, like three, four. Okay. Yeah. Because I heard a lot of people, they're required to work until 2 a.m., right? Okay. Like, you... especially in investment banks. Yeah. I'm definitely not fine with that. Like, But they pay you 80,000. I don't care. I don't want I don't want that. I don't care. I don't want I don't want that. I have no interest. How about 15,000 and 9 to 6, would you take the job? Sure. Six. Sure. Sure. Wow! Yeah. If I have work-life balance, you can pay me as low as you want. Really? Yeah. Uh, Zhejiang. Zhejiang. Oh, just in Shanghai. Yes, yes, yes. What do you study? Finance. And this year is year 
uh, year four. So much all the best. I hope you found your work-life yeah, balance yeah. job. I mean, really nice to see you in person. Um, I'm from South Korea. South Korea, nice. Yeah. I'm in my fourth year. I study marketing. Are you going to work in Hong Kong when you graduate? Um, I'm hoping to stay for at least like two, three years. How much do you expect when you get a job in Hong Kong uh -huh. in a few months? I think for marketing, the entry pay is quite low. What I'm aware of is like 20k, 30k. So I would expect something like that. Would you do it for 15,000? Probably not because I need a rent. Nice, I hope you get one. Bye bye. Bye bye. A foreigner and you study in HKU, they normally want a higher salary compared to the local because they need to pay for rent and you know and all that I'm um, from India for um, your first job after you graduate um, around 30 to 40 hi my name is Emily uh, where are you from here Hong Kong okay nice what do you study medicine which year yeah three <laughs> are you excited to be a doctor yeah yeah I heard it's gonna be really really tough it's all right it's all yeah? right it's all right but we know our expectations we know our salary like, oh really yeah it's like six it's like 60k my 60k, 60K to start with. Ish. That's a pretty good salary. Yeah, it's not bad, but yeah. I mean, it's, it's six years, of course it's six years. Are you going to get more money working in a private hospital? No, we have to, like, if we want to train, now obviously we have to do public first. Yeah. Yeah, I'd want to train in public first yeah. and then maybe we'll see. Yeah. Are you happy that you don't really have to go through what your other fellow schools mates, they have to apply for internship and yeah, all that? Yeah, somebody will take me. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, we're out of doctors right now, so yeah. <laughs> See, that's why all the parents want us to be doctors or dentists because like, you don't even have to worry about your future. You're, you're sorted. You don't have to send hundreds and thousands of CVs. Before I applied for architecture, my first choice was actually physiotherapy, but I couldn't get into physiotherapy, but it turned out great. I mean, if I did physiotherapy, my path would have been well planned. I would be a physio right now, wouldn't be making videos. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get in. Obviously, a different conversation if you're really passionate about that subject. For some people, they just get in because they think it's a safe path. Sometimes they could miss out on the opportunities of exploring different things. Hey, <laughs> 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 well, when I was in uni, I didn't join any society, but I was in like the rugby team. The thing is, I knew nothing about rugby, but if you play rugby, you know rugby is not the main point. It's the social side of rugby. So I basically joined the team just to, just to party. <laughs> This is the canteen I came when I wanted cheap, cheap food. Really cheap. So much cheaper than outside. This is the hallway that I would come all the time to film some of my videos here. Random videos that I filmed in my last year of study and then no one really cared and they were really embarrassing. You check out my girlfriend. No. Oh, you like her? You want to have her? Sure. And I finally learned to make culture videos that I, I I am truly passionate about. What's your name? My name is Vicky. Uh, where are you from? I'm half Thai, half Chinese. Wow, that's so cool. Which part of Thailand? <laughs> Bangkok. Bangkok? Yeah. And which part of China? Greenland. So what's your first language? Good question. <laughs> uh, I'm doing architecture. How many hours do you sleep every night? I slept four hours last night. Jesus, is that because you went out partying or you were working? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing studio. Like salary? Yeah, that's the question of the day. I heard like 30 to 40k. It's really great to see everyone. But uh, yeah, hopefully guys, I could give you a little bit of insight into the market right now and you know, get to know the young people. Buy my sunglasses. They are nice. My sunglasses are so good and it's so tough that you can't bend them. <laughs> so go buy them and thank you for supporting my channel. Always exploring. Ciao. Have you done your miniature surface yet? I'm gonna. I'm not yet, but I'm gonna do it after the semester. Are you excited? Uh, are you kidding? Sing long more. Uh, double. Double. Hey, see what's it? You, I've never said before, but it's a. Can you say it's a 
，我话少你冇人信。佢佢哋话你二千万一部，系咪讲少咗？答我，系男人你就答。系一个好惊人嘅数。讲废话，你有智力。讲少到咧二千万。少咗。放声，放低你手上做嘅嘢。我哋练功夫